How to use Google Webmaster Tools. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to take you through um, using Google Webmaster Tools on a basic level, showing you how to find your way around and look at the menu options that it has made available for webmasters like me and you. You need to have Google account to be able to use the tool itself. The reason that I'm showing you this particular interface is because there are great information for you to learn from as well. Okay, there is Help Center whereby Google makes available great information for you to browse through if you ever get stuck on on a feature the tool it has. Okay? Also you can post your questions to Google Webmaster Forum whereby other webmasters may be able to answer your questions. So, this is what the Google Webmaster Tools interface looks like on an overall level. So therefore, you know, if you're, you know, for the first time creating your account, surely you're not going to have any website that means you need to add a site so that you can take advantage of its features okay this is my youtube channel i have made great video tutorials showing you how to add your website to google webmaster tools whether you have a normal website whether your website is on um, you know if you're using wordpress okay so i've got different tutorials for that as well or whether you're hosting your website on wordpress.com instead of self-hosting WordPress, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is that for you to be able to add your website, I have great video tutorials showing you how to do that, okay? So let's go back into the interface it has and let's have a look at the, the main features. On the left-hand side, we have menu options I am at the home page here but I have this option saying all messages if I press on that as we can see I actually have no messages whatsoever now that's actually great because really although the feature is available for me and you at the end of the day your aim should be to have no messages because that basically says we have no problems whatsoever okay and we also have another feature here that says labs let's press on it and as we can see Google being Google it wants to you know uh, make um, authors link their blogs or websites with Google okay and the reason it can do that is because Microsoft Bing or, or Yahoo and all the others you know that they can't do that or they are not advanced as Google okay so let's press on that let's see what it's gonna bring for us as you can see as far as I'm concerned I'd like to keep my personal things private okay although I have a blog and although I put out content I don't want my image or my name to show up in Google search results because if I wanted to do that, then I surely have to verify my authorship um, linking my blog to Google account, okay? So just realize that you have that option there. If it's suitable for you, then you go ahead and follow the links so that you can verify authorship of your content online. Because remember, when you search Google, the result sets, some of them have little images with some author names. Okay, so that's done through the, the authorship feature. Another option that it has is other resources. As we can see, Google being Google, it always wants to you know, bring everything together so that uh, it can perhaps you know, um, see things different and see, see things more clearer. Okay? So the other resources, some of them I will take you through, but things like Google Places that's actually hasn't got much to do with Google Webmaster Tools okay just realize you can follow the links and learn more about it so 
let's go back to the home page and let's have a look at the sorting options as we can see we can sort the the verify sites the ones they are verified by health or I can sort them differently according to their name okay I also have different view options here you, you can play around with it I like this view set here but you can choose the compact view as well with Google interface across all Google platforms and services um, they are very intuitive once you um, learn to use it okay and one of the great features for all Google services whether it's webmaster tools analytics AdWords AdSense okay is the help feature that Google has made available for us basically we can type in anything we want to search it's gonna search the help center or we can directly go to the help center itself and search it through there okay so that feature is there for you so let's close this up let's have a look at the webmaster tools preferences let's press on that now as we can see it's telling us okay you know what I'm gonna send you some messages if there is some issues with your website choose your language so we can do that here also you have an option to say okay you know what send me messages when I have only critical issues whereby I can also choose all issues meaning send me emails if you find any issues whatsoever okay I'd like to leave it at critical issues but perhaps you may want to choose the, this option here as well okay just realize that you have that option basically when you choose this um, these settings it's gonna email you any issues that it finds to the email address that you provide to webmaster tools account and let's go back to the home page so let's say this is my website as we can see I have an option here to to do a couple of other things um, one being is let's say if I want to delete this website I can easily press this and delete it if I choose okay but surely I don't want to do that and I wish you great success in a sense that you will never have to use that option okay but ju just realize that you have that option available for you also if you're a one-man show or one-woman show okay that means you probably will not need to add more users but if you're working for digital agency whereby you want your clients to give you access to their uh, webmaster tools account you can get them to add you as a user or if you want some other webmaster to manage your website you can surely add users here as well okay so that option is there for you as far as Google Analytics property is concerned if you want to link the data so that Google Analytics and webmaster tools communicate with each other giving you more different features so to speak okay just realize that you can do that here as well we've basically covered the basics of using the interface itself if you're patient with me and follow me through in the coming video sessions I will show you um, the features that it has to my best ability and understanding as well as I will advise you on some of the features whereby the information is actually not reliable because Google likes to keep things a little bit um, secret so to speak meaning for example links to your website Google has never as far as I know in the seven years that I've been online okay, meaning Google has never shown the correct backlinking data to my websites okay so although the option is there and it's gonna give you great insights uh, it is not 100% reliable because you can analyze all that using other methods as well so basically we've covered how to use Google Webmaster Tools account on a basic level and if you follow me through you will learn how to use it um, from my understanding and I have been using it for a while as well so you know the information that you will gain will save you time because I'm gonna 
um, share with you core concepts and a quicker way to utilize the tool itself okay I thank you very much for learning with me um, if you enjoy this video session please share it or, or like it and if you own a website and you really want to learn about SEO Google Analytics or you know how to rank your YouTube videos and so on then I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you and I can learn together I thank you for your visit wishing you greater success online thank you bye bye